All right, so I am with my mother, Judy Jollis, and uh, we have not even looked at these questions. Not at all. All right, so my first question to you is, <clears throat> tell me something that you have never told me before. Um, I know I've told you about all my activities here, mm -hmm. which I really like very, very much. I would like to see family a little bit more, uh -huh. but not a whole lot more because I'm very busy. Right. Okay. <laughs> but I, I, I do, I do miss seeing. I mean, it's just a joy seeing you every Saturday. Uh -huh. And, um, but I would like to see other members of the family once in a while. I agree. Once in a while. Okay. So noted. So let me change the question a little bit. Yes. From your past. From your past, maybe even before I was born, tell me something that you've never told me before from your growing up or your parents or something like that. A story you've never told me before. I don't think I have told you how I learned to smoke cigarettes. I'd like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a very good friend in New York whose parents owned a grocery store and both parents worked in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, Sylvia and her friends, about four of us, used to get together in Sylvia's apartment, in her parents' apartment, and we did things that we normally wouldn't do. Right. Like when it was time to try a cigarette, and we had like two cigarettes in the four of us, and we knew that we would choke a little bit, but we were laughing like crazy. And yes, we did choke a little bit. Right. And, um, but eventually, by the end of uh, five more times, we learned to smoke. Right. We also learned to dance in her, in her apartment. No, no boys. Right. Only girls. And, and tell me something, um, just so we get a, a context of this. How old were you when you were learning to smoke? Fourteen. Fourteen years old. Mm -hmm. okay. But, but. You have to understand that we didn't smoke. Right. We just learned to, you know, hold the cigarette. We didn't inhale. Right. No, no inhaling. Even though you were coughing a little bit, there was no inhaling. No, no inhaling. Okay. Right. You were our president. Uh, what do you know now that you wish you knew when you were my age? I know now how very important it is to be super active in everything because I ha I always had an, a very nice life but I know now how important it is to have the best that I could have because I've learned th I've learned to do things that I never did before mm -hmm. I learned to participate in things I never did before I learned to be in charge of things I never did before and I love it I love every minute of it excellent very well said. Um, tell me a, a story of one of the happiest moments you ever had. In my life? Yeah. One of the happiest moments in my life was when my husband came home from overseas in the war and he was alive and healthy and he had been in many, many treacherous situations. And see, seeing as he was a medic, he was really in tre treacherous situations. And he came, came home healthy. And shortly thereafter, we were able to get married. Wow. And how old was, were you at that time? 18. 18. And how long had you been dating him? Well, known him? never really dating in those days. Right. Uh, I had known him since I was 12 years old. Wow. But, but never dating. Okay. You didn't go out when you were 12. You just gathered with a whole bunch of other kids the same age, and we sang and we did stuff like that. Okay. One last question. Yes. What's the biggest lesson you'd like to pass on to future generations? The biggest lesson I'd like to pass on is to not to hesitate to do things 
that you really want to do, but you're afraid you can't do them. Because if you don't try, you're never going to know how to do it. And um, learning how to do certain things was just invaluable. It's making my whole life now. Outstanding. It's a great lesson. So not to yes. let fear hold you back. Pardon me? Not to let fear hold you back. No. Good. No. Great interview. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Now can I hear it? Beautiful. I knew you